Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for joining me and welcome back to my kitchen for another video. My name is Derek from Simnet Nutrition and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to turn this into this in less than 10 minutes. So the other day I got a DM from someone that said, clearly you spend a lot of time food prepping. Good for you. And it made me chuckle because I actually don't spend much time food prepping. Always no time food prepping. I do spend a bit of time cooking, but uh, the meal that I made that day was actually like a pretty quick one. Didn't take me long at all. So I thought that was a cool opportunity to maybe make a video out of it and show you guys how I throw a meal together in under 10 minutes. So of course you wanna be making most of your meals from scratch if you can, it's always the healthiest way, but sometimes a little can of something something can like really Really help you start things out and really give you a good base for a meal so that's what I'm gonna be showing you here today and this is a great little hack to know uh, if you're just getting into you know healthy eating or plant-based eating or if you've even been doing it for a long time you just want to spend a little less time in the kitchen it's an amazing hack to know and this is how I actually got introduced to sort of like healthier cooking. I would used to like add uh, some like broccoli to my Mr. Noodles or some like frozen peas to like my Lipton sidekicks and stuff like that. And I always thought I was doing such good things, eating so many veggies, little did I know, you know, years later, this is where I'd be. So what this is, is a can of organic lentil soup. So on its own, mm, it's okay. It's got some flavors. It's got a few veggies in there. It's got some lentils, some seasoning. However, this is not nearly enough food to fill me up for a meal. So rather than opening two or three more cans and like totally jacking up my sodium for the day and you know also spending quite a bit more money on canned food, I can just kind of you know add on to this and not only adding on some volume and calories but also adding a bunch of nutrition as well. So if you're looking at this and you're like Derek I don't have that near my house, it's okay. You don't have to buy this exact can of organic lentil soup. It can be from another brand or it can even be something like this, a can of vegan chili. This works really well too. These like Indian Bombay style potatoes from Tasty Bite. This is a good um, base as well. So really anything will work, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how I use these organic lentils today. Let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna start by timing the whole process here just to show you guys how quickly start to finish we can do this. So there might be a couple cuts in the video, but I'm gonna leave that timer going the whole time. So what I'm gonna start with is chopping up some veggies. So I've got everything already laid out here just to make it a little bit easier for myself. So it does save a little bit of time, but not much. I don't have anything cut up. So first I'm gonna cut up an onion really quickly. Just gonna dice this. Alrighty, so right away, onions going in there. Perfect. And then back, I'm just gonna chop up the broccoli here. So the way I like to kinda organize the cooking or the timing of it or whatever is I usually try and put in what's going to take the longest or what I want to be cooked the most first. So in this case, that's the onion and the broccoli. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to it as well, just to help it cook. If you're a fan of adding oil to your cooking, you could do that as well, but I generally do not. So there we go, we're just gonna let that start to simmer away, come back over here, and we're gonna be chopping up some more veggies. So I've got some celery here. And if you're ever like stuck on what to sort of like add, to you know what you're making you can always like have a look at the front of it and just kind of like see what veggies they have in there and just add more of them and what i like to do too for like the spices where's the ingredients here i like to look at the ingredients and just kind of give myself some ideas on like you know what they already have in there and what flavors and other things might go along with it so let's go over back to the frying pan <laughs> with these all right I'm gonna turn that up a bit let's keep that cooking Oh, that is not <laughs> deserving to be in there. Get that out of here. <laughs> you guys have probably seen this before, but one thing I like to do when I'm cooking is to have like a little garbage bowl handy so I can just put all my scraps in there. It makes cleanup really easy in the end. Uh, so a few of the next things I'm going to be putting in here are some grape tomatoes, some frozen corn, and some frozen peas. Frozen peas are one of the foods that I add most to these types of dishes. Like I'm eating these frozen peas almost every day. So this is definitely a staple in our house and in our freezer. I'm gonna wait though to put these in because I like them to be nice and fresh. So this is gonna go in kind of towards the end. But we'll put these puppies in right now. Now 
And oops, I messed up. I was gonna put these in a little bit earlier on, the mushrooms, but um, that's okay. I'm gonna put them in right now and you guys, you guys will see everything's just gonna work out just the same as it would have if I put them in the beginning. No need to worry. It's only cooking. Kinda like to keep them a little bit intact so you see what you're eating. So these over here, try and get them on some of the heat actually. I'll help them cook. There we go. That's nice. So next, I'm just gonna hit them with a little bit of spice over there. Some garlic powder and some onion powder. I never measure these, but it's usually around a teaspoon or so that I add to my dishes. Perfect. So just while we're waiting for that to saute, I'm just gonna throw together a little like side salad here really quickly. You guys like know that I always like to try and have some greens with my meals. I must admit I'm not the best at eating them, but if I try, I do. So just a little handful of mixed lettuce. chopped red bell pepper. Bell pepper is a great source of vitamin C as you guys know so it's a really good thing to have with iron rich meals which this one is going to be because we have a bunch of lentils in here. And then just for a really quick sort of dressing substitute I'm just gonna add some nice creamy tahini, some lemon juice, Here I've got some everything but the bagel seasoning. This is kind of an unusual choice for this, but it actually works really well. Got a little salt in there as well. Some toasted sesame seeds. Makes the salad really easy to eat. A little hot sauce on there for a little extra tang. Can't go wrong with a little Valentina's. And then here I've just got a little variety of nuts and seeds. This is some walnuts and some pumpkin seeds. Oh, look at that, it's so good already. One thing that I really like to do on my salads is have like a little bit of sweetness. I find that berries just like this add like the perfect little touch of sweetness. So there we go. Give this a quick stir. We don't want anything burning. We want it to be cooking all evenly. It's looking good so far. All right, <laughs> we're gonna head back over to the frying pan. Throw on the frozen peas. And then I'm gonna come over and just add the can of lentil soup. So you're kind of basically like using this as like a sauce, I guess you would say for like the stir fry. I don't know, but I always do this and this is like just the, the tastiest, easiest meal. Look at that. Looks like you've been slaving away all day. All right, so I think this is all done and I'm just gonna put it up here beside the salad in the bowl. Just some avocado on the top. It's gonna be really nice. There we go, timer. Look at that, under 10 minutes. Not bad, not bad. Look at that meal. So we can make it even fancier and tastier if we want it here. Right? Chopping up some green onion on top. I like to use scissors for this, super fast. There we go, a little hot sauce on this, why not? Boom, 10 minute meal. So here we have it, you guys saw it. In less than 10 minutes, I made this whole bowl of food. Is this a bowl or a plate? It's like kind of hybrid, eh? <laughs> yeah. Man. So there we have it. <laughs> I'm not sure my mouth. So there we have it. My mouth made the wrong, wrong shape for the word I was trying to say. <laughs> so there we have it. Made this in less than 10 minutes. You guys saw it, and you can do it too. So if you wanted to, when you were cooking this, you wanted to add some more protein to it, uh, you could always like crumble some tofu in there. It's a really easy way to bump up the protein. You could add some fresh, like steamed edamame if you want as well. You could add anything you want to this. This is just what I like to do. These are some of the veggies that we had on hand. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas. That's the whole idea with these videos that I do is to kind of inspire and motivate you guys, give you some ideas. And with this video, I wanted to show you that it doesn't take hours and hours slaving away in the kitchen to be a healthy plant-based individual. You can do it in less than 10 minutes. So grab yourself a can of soup or chili or whatever you have around the house, start sauteing some veggies, throw it on top, and there you go. So if you guys got some out of this video, hit the like button. It's so easy for you. It means so much to me. And also subscribe. I looked at my analytics the other day and so many of you watch my videos and you are not subscribed. So let's get that number bumped up. I want to hit a million subscribers, like eventually. I got no timeline on this, but eventually. So help me get there, guys. Comment down below. Let me know if you make meals like this or if you want to see some more meals like this. It'd pretty much be the same. Me just like stir frying things and then throwing like this on top. But hey, I'm willing to do it if you guys want to see it. So comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. See you again soon. Oh, I didn't even, I, I didn't even try it. I better try it. Meanwhile, it's just like, tastes like poison. No, I make this like every day so I know it tastes good. But here we go. Let's taste it in real time. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some off-screen approval from the camera lady over here. Oh, oh, yeah, it's so good. Got the approval. <laughs> All right, guys. See you again soon with another video.